Coming up next, Malcolm Turnbull ridiculed by members of his own party. Also, Bill Cosby under attack as more women accuse him of sexual assault. And Wales Follick under the Northern Lights in Norway. Tonight, the Prime Minister ridiculed by his own party. The comments that had the Liberal rank and file laughing at Malcolm Turnbull. Scuffles break out in Bendigo as opposing sides clash over a proposed mosque in country Victoria. The shocking double stabbing that left a woman fighting for life. Police are baffled as to who is the culprit. Another shocking crash at the Martin. The driver is in hospital as the V8 community rallies around Chas Mostert. And Dave Reynolds grabs pole on a very wet top 10 shootout for tomorrow's Bathurst 1000. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Natasha Belling. Good evening. First tonight, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has been jeered and laughed at. And while it's not the first time that's happened, today the ridicule came from his own party. It happened at a conference in Sydney after he stated the Liberals aren't run by factions, business or backroom deals. It's a clear sign his knifing of Tony Abbott is still a very touchy subject. Paul Bongiorno joins us now with the details from Canberra. Paul, are the Liberals a united party? Well, Tash, I'd have to say they're struggling to be a united party. It's clear that the allies of Tony Abbott, those on the more conservative end of the Liberal Broad Church, are still hurting. Uh, today, uh, party elder Philip Ruddick had to quote John Howard, urging all Libs to get behind the new Prime Minister. So that's proof enough that they're not quite united yet, as was the lavish praise that Malcolm Turnbull himself uh, heaped on the head of his coup victim.